I think depression clothing is so popular because it's just driven by media. Runners are looking for the next best thing always. And this just seems to be flavor of the month that's been hanging around for a couple of years. My name is Dr. Reed Ferber. I hold a PhD in biomechanics, which is the physics of human movement. Compression gear is any article of clothing, whether it be um, shirt, pants, socks are the most common form of compression clothing, where it constricts the body. It's trying to either clear blood more quickly from areas or it's trying to prevent injury in the first place by not allowing the body to move in, in specific ways. So we'll talk specifically about compression stockings or compression socks. So generally you rely on what's called your musculovenous pump. You rely on muscles contracting and that's what's gonna move the blood up from your lower legs into your heart. The faster and the more blood you can get out of your lower legs and back into general circulation, that blood's going to get scrubbed going to have all the uh, metabolic byproducts of injury and exercise cleaned out of it. Your body jiggles when you run. There's a certain amount of vibration that occurs. Your muscles need to tune to whatever environment you're running on. If you're running on something soft like the grass, there may not be as much jiggle. If you're running on the hard pavement, your muscles have to work a little harder because that's going to be a bigger shock wave traveling up your system. So the more your muscles have to tune, the more prone they are to injury, the more byproducts like lactic acid your body's going to produce. So compression socks act to minimize the jiggle and thereby decrease those metabolic byproducts of injury. Compression clothing isn't really going to help with more static exercises like, like lifting weights. They're more designed for dynamic activities such as running impact activities. There's no real science behind the physiological effects of compression clothing. And there's been a few dozen studies. They're very small in size, meaning they're only involving a few dozen participants, and the results are mixed. So for every one study that says there are benefits to compression clothing, there's another study that says there's no benefits, and there's another study saying that it might be actually be harmful to you. So it's all across the board whether or not uh, compression clothing is actually beneficial. So the psychological benefits are there. People feel better wearing compression clothing, but the science doesn't support the fact that there is a physiological effect. Um, so if somebody's wearing them in the gym to lift weights, for example, they may just feel that it helps them to perform, to, to lift that heavy weight or perform whatever goal they have for the day. It may just be that little extra that they need to help recover um, from their injury or prevent injuries as well. Have I used compression socks? Yes. I, more for the fact that I wanted to get a feeling for what they were all about. Uh, they don't necessarily work for me. They actually cause a little bit of muscle cramping. Um, I've tried various sizes, various styles, but uh, for me personally, anecdotally, I just don't like running in, in uh, compression gear at all. Mm -hmm.